today's video is going to be a mini review on the new Verbier boots. I've been very lucky to have these for the past couple of days and I'm bringing you this review today just with my thoughts on the boots and just showing you the differences because there is a mid-length boot and a knee-length boot and they're both absolutely gorgeous but it's always nice to see things before you buy them and just hear the features and details about the boots. So like I said, there are two different lengths. There's the mid calf boot sorry if you can see little bits of dirt on them i have been wearing them recently i've tried my best to keep them as clean as possible but living in the countryside i'm sure many of you will know is not the easiest thing especially this time of year um and yeah here we have the knee length boot so upon arrival i was definitely more drawn to the calf length boot and i would say after wearing them both for a few days i still am but i guess this is just personal preference i've always leaned more towards a mid-length than a knee length but obviously like i said it's down to the individual as to what height you go for there is quite a difference in height so i'll pop on the screen just a few little clips here just so you can really see the comparison of the knee length versus the calf length but as you can see they are also both absolutely beautiful so one of the main features that drew me to these boots is definitely the gorgeous faux fur sections that we have in them. As you can see, they do kind of point out just around the top a little bit, which I absolutely love the look of. But obviously it just gives you that extra warmth and that extra comfort and cosy feel when you're out and about. So like I said, I've been wearing these recently on walks, but they can definitely do smart and casual as well for various different events, whether you are in the countryside or you are in the city, but I will share those outfit options with you shortly. So obviously we have the faux fur which is just beautiful and obviously has all of the added warmth and we also have the full length back zip which obviously just adds so much ease when putting the boots on there isn't any struggle there and then obviously it goes without saying we have the classic signature fairfax and favor tassel with the beautiful antique brass shield and they are also part of the water resistant range which i think personally is great going into the new season we're starting to think about spring we won't say summer just yet but thinking about spring and thinking about those sort of lighter spring showers if you do find yourself in rain in these they're not going to get ruined and you can definitely trust them in all weather conditions which also leads me on to the next point is just how fantastic they are for all terrains because i'm sure you can see just how amazing the tread is on them and they've got a really nice thick rubber sole so i definitely wouldn't hesitate to go out walking in these or spend the day in the city in them they're definitely going to bring you comfort all day long as well as warmth and style they're in this beautiful cognac shade which is a much deeper richer tone of the kind of classic tan color and i think it's absolutely beautiful this color for me really is such a classic and a staple color to have in your wardrobe it can do all year round and it will just be timeless there's not really anything that this color wouldn't go with in your wardrobe especially if you are into those more classic neutral wearable colors which i know i am so this style and color of boot will just slot into my wardrobe seamlessly speaking of style these boots are super versatile and i don't just mean with how you style them i mean with how you physically wear them these boots kind of offer a two-in-one style obviously we can wear them just classic like this so they come just slightly above the knee and um, obviously sit a more taller boot or we can fold over the top and have the faux fur trim exposed further and again it makes the knee length boots that bit shorter but kind of gives them a little bit of extra something and really shows that gorgeous faux fur off to its maximum this might be an option that you would go for more in autumn winter then when you're looking for a more kind of spring or summer look you can just flip them back up and hide away a bit of that faux fur and just give them a slightly more lighter feel. I will also just cover the sizing information for these boots. So for reference I do have a slightly wider foot but I wouldn't say I'm a wide foot as a whole. I do just find 
sometimes shoes can come up a little bit tighter on me so I just thought I'd point that out there before giving you my personal opinion on the sizing. So for the calf length boots I found them to be a little harder to get on than the knee length boots however once they were on they fit me perfectly and then as for the knee high boots I found them a bit easier to get on and again once they were on they fit exactly the same as the calf length. They are a very comfortable fit and I would also say a very true fit. However, if you do have a wide foot, I may suggest going up a size just for that extra comfort when getting the boots on. And in terms of the fit actually around the calf, on both of them, I found it to fit me perfectly. However, again, the mid-length ones were just a little bit more snug than the knee length, but in no means like that they didn't fit me just um yeah if i was to pinpoint little things that they were just a little bit more fitted around my leg than the knee length and i would say if you've got quite short legs i would stick with the mid-length boots purely because the knee length ones kind of finished on me slightly like kind of in the middle of the back of my knee if that makes sense which I could feel sometimes when I was walking especially if I was going up steps so I feel as though if you did have shorter legs than me I'm five foot six for reference obviously I know everybody's legs are different lengths but I just want to give you as much information as I can but yeah I did find as that I could feel the back section of the boot when I was walking whereas I couldn't feel that on the calf length however on the flip side if you were blessed with super long legs this isn't going to be even vaguely an issue for you so I definitely recommend the knee high ones for you but obviously when it comes down to style that's personal preference but yeah that's just my opinion on how they fit and finally I'm going to share a few ways in which I would style these boots for a smart outfit as well as a casual outfit but I think it's nice to see how something styles up before purchasing it just so you know whether or not you think that could work in your wardrobe because we want things that we're investing in to work and get as much wear out of them as possible. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure the Fairfax and Favour team would love to hear your favourite out of the two. Is it the knee length? Is it the calf length? Comment below as they would love to hear. I think for me it's definitely the mid length. They have my heart um, but they're both absolutely beautiful.